Hi. Uh, in this slide, I want to address the concern, the objection about, uh, but I don't want my competitors to get one dollar of incremental margin. It's kind of really an extension of just I want every dollar of margin for myself because that's what my belief is: is that you fight, you scrape for every dollar margin. All all, all margin dollar is good. Uh, maybe the best thing to do is tell you a story. I was doing my first. Uh, distribution company turnaround really in 1976 and uh, involved three uh, distribution companies um, in central Illinois and the general manager who ran the Decatur branch when we put in the small order small customer small order program yeah he was really skeptical about it but uh, he he started doing it and uh, about a week or two into it he called me up and he was he was very angry. He just he called me Junior because he was a generation older. He said, uh, Junior, the program is off here. I said, well, what happened, Charles? And he said, well, uh, my competitor, a guy who ran a, another head-to-head -head competitor there in town, his, his hometown, had called up and actually sort of chided him a bit. He said, you know, we love your new small order program. We're getting all kinds of new business over here. So I had to hop on an airplane and fly up there and administer emotional first aid to Charlie and his, his troops. And the, uh, you know, I, I guess it was just the context of the times as to why I could I could be so adamant about the need to do a turnaround. We had a lot of debt, et cetera. I mean, it was a real a tense time, and the company was not doing well. Um, so right away, we got focused back again on activity and looking at transactions per full-time equivalent employee, and we noticed that by putting in the strict minimums and raising and unbundling freight and so forth, there had been about 35 customers who were getting city delivery every day who were now coming down and picking stuff up. So we were able to lay off two trucks and two drivers and then two warehouse people and two inside salespeople because the activity costs for the, the, the small orders were dropping that quickly. And very quickly we realized we were laying off about two dollars of operational expense. Not that anybody likes to lay people off, but uh, two dollars of operational expense for every dollar margin we were, we were losing. So we actually were making money. The company doubled its operating profit uh, the first full month of the program. And now Charlie got pretty excited and he got very focused on this. And, and it also, as he was downsizing his business but upgrading the average quality of the employee was left and they, their energy could focus, their naturally flow to bigger, better customers that fit our service model, it, it, it you know started to bear fruit. Well, he called up about, I don't know, four months later, and he said, guess what, Junior? And I said, what's that? And he said, well, my competitor called up and asked me, what is our small order program? And I said, well, what'd you tell him? And he said, well, I told him just what you told me 57 times. That was the play in the rule of five to seven in those days. He said, uh, uh, I, I, I told him, you know, the simple bath of it all. And I said, I'll even send you a copy of the letter we sent out to all of our customers. Of course, we only sent it out to small customers. We didn't send it out to uh, big size customers who could handle and, and serve, you know, fit our, our, our outside sales go to market model. So this guy went ahead and sent a letter out to all of his customers. And Charlie had his key reps calling on the key accounts. Uh, of the competitors the day the letter came out and, and actually used that for stealing, you know, a handful of big accounts. And as a result of it, that competitor went out of business. So the idea of letting competitor, competitors waste their resources, not even waste them, lose money and be tied up giving, uh, you know, service to these people at, this, at, at the expense of their best customers who we're hyper-focusing on, uh, we're hitting them both low and high. Uh, if, you know, don't be surprised if some competitors implode. Um, so that's the opportunity cost and actually the blessing in disguise of letting your competition uh, absorb some of this business. I think 1976, this day and age, things have changed. I mean, WW Granger and Fastenal and Home Depot and now Amazon Supply.com, go there. I mean, these, 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 these alternative channels are doing a terrific job of taking care of heretofore small customers that would give us normally small orders. Um, so they've got a better service model for taking care of those kinds of customers. Thanks.